It's beer o'clock on me little craft beer. Today we've got a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company and it's a can of their Tidal. It's a citrus zest and sea salt goes coming in at 4.3% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Nice looking can. New beer in Morrison's then. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Yeah, so as of mid-April, early April 2020, Morrison's have a new range of craft beers in, which is all very exciting, all very exciting for us beer drinkers. Um, it's nice to see other supermarkets doing what... I would say at this stage, the market-leading supermarket, which is probably Tesco, at the moment is doing with craft beer and it's great to see the Morrisons are kind of not too far behind they're launching their own range of craft beer and it's great to see so we got a two finger white head nice light straw colored beer good levels of carbonation it was very zesty and springy and salty when I opened I could I could smell it as I kind of crack the can let's get the aroma Oh, that smells lovely. Very light and refreshing. Lime, lemon, salt, a touch of sourness coming through. What I mean by sourness is because sourness is more of a taste than a than an, an aroma. You just get that kind of farmyard horse blanket aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ho oh. ho! Oh. Go! Oh. Wow! 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 Ho oh. ho! That is fantastic! Wow! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! I would love to be on the fly. Uh, I would love to be a fly on the wall at somebody's house. Like they've he they've heard about this craft beer. They wanted to try it. Um, some of their mates have said, "Try this new craft beer. Go to Morrison's and pick some up." And they pick up a can of this, for, you know, like a like a like a, a, a regular lager or bitter drinker. Um, you know, your twenty-four cans for fifteen pound type of thing. Uh, type of person who just buys a can of this and, and tries it for the first time because the first thing they'll probably do is go Whoa! they'll jump back in their chair with with absolute kind of like either awesomeness or what on earth is this it's properly sour Probably sour beer. This, that, that's the kind of the mischievous side in me, is to is to think like that. Is to kind of like get a mate who, who is a lager drinker to pick up a can of this and try it because it'll either scare them off for life or they'll become they'll become a craft beer drinker. I like the lime. I like the lemon. I like the saltiness. Um, and then once all of that kind of that, them quick flavours are over, the saltiness, the lemon, the lime, you're left with the flavour of the, the the light malts, and it's it's a beautiful flavour, and it's it's one of the reasons why I like sour beer is because it's all over in a flash, but you're left with the the light kind of wafery, biscuity kind of malt flavours, which is fantastic. Another reason why I, why I like sour beer is just how refreshing it is. It's generally, I would say 70% of sour beer is generally around the 4% or under mark, this being 4.3% ABV. And it's just, it's just so drinkable. It's just so refreshing and drinkable and carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. So you're hit with like pure refreshment 
with lemon and lime and sourness and saltiness. It's a brilliant beer. It's a really good beer. I'm really pleased with it. Very nice. Really zesty. If you like a real zesty beer, then this beer, this beer is for you. Let's see what Northern Monk has to say about it. Uh, I think it's some kind of collaboration. Uh, brewed in the north with Brandon Ellis. Brew by day, jam and preserve maker by night. Oh, there we go. Uh, more refreshing than eating an ice lolly whilst being lashed by the North Sea. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, 4.3% ABV. I'm going to rate this one. I, I think it's fantastic to be able to, to pick up a beer like this in Morrison's. For me, Morrison's have got it pretty spot on with their craft range. I had the Brewdog versus Northern Monk um, the other week and I really, really enjoyed that beer. Really enjoy this beer from Northern Monk. The Brew York Bruce Forsyth is very good. Uh, there's a few more I need to try, but it, 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 what am I trying to say? The consistency with Morrison's seems to be a lot better than, than Tesco. It might be a smaller range of beer for now, but the consistency seems better. I've not had a bad beer or a bad one of these 440 cans because they're all 440 for three pounds. They price match in Tesco, but I've not had a bad beer from from Morrison's whereas I've had a few not very good beers for three pound in Tesco uh, that that donut stout thing for me was just horrendous and uh, almost undrinkable beer um I can't remember who make it now but it was oh just terrible beer anyway this is about this beer so let's rate this beer I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.